Hey y'all, so um, I have decided to get my second bedroom together also. It's just been sitting idle like literally for a year. Um, and I think I want to make it into my office. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it like a second bedroom or if I wanted to make it an, an office. But I think it makes more sense, of course, to make it an office just because um, I'm now doing YouTube. I can film them there. And because of school, I can um, set me up a desk and do my schoolwork in there. And I don't have kids or anything, so there's really no reason for a, another bed in my house. That's just really taking up space and wasting it. So I'm here at the at-home store, and I think I'm going to start off looking for a... Um, I need some type of light in that room because uh, there is no light in the ceiling. It's kind of operated by a switch, but you need a light source to turn it on via the switch. So... I'm going to look for a uh, floor lamp. So I'm going to go see what I can find. And like I said, I'm at the at-home store. So come along with me. Fine, how are you? Oh, we got the Christmas stuff out already. Wow. Ooh, am I going to do... Am I going to do a Christmas tree this year? I don't know. I feel like I need a wreath, though. 25 bucks, that's not bad. As always, y'all, I'm getting distracted from what I'm supposed to be doing. Typical me in any store. Ooh, pink. You guys know I'm doing blush pink in my living room. Oh, these are freaking ornaments. So cute, though. This is so cute for like an alternative Christmas decor. If you didn't want to do like a traditional red and green, how cute would that be? It's only $3.99. These are beautiful too. Oh my God, look at this reindeer. My girl Ty off the Diva Spot 101. She would love this ring there. And it's only 15 bucks. Did not tell her about that. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Look at all these beautiful vases. That's like one of my favorite pieces of decor. Is a beautiful vase. It just sets off the room. It can be a conversation piece. Oh my god, look at this one, you guys. Look how cute that is. It's like a little zipper. I love it. It's only 18 bucks. I wish it had a silver zipper. Look at this one. How cute is that? It's just unique. 10 bucks. Put a little sprouting plant out of each of those. That'd be really cute. And this I can get with. Yes. Come through. How cute is that? Nice. 60 bucks. All oh, that glistening and sparkling. I like this too. Bucks. That's cute. Lord have mercy. Y'all see how big these things are? Why would anybody? Jesus. Well, I guess people would want it because it's big and it's a conversation piece. But geez, these are like for homes of giants. Jesus. Lord have mercy. 80 bucks. I guess it's not bad, but it is freaking tall. Jesus. This thing comes up. Let me see. Can y'all see that? It comes up to my bust. So I finally made it to where I'm supposed to be. However, I'm really not satisfied with the selection that they have not really 
This one is kind of cute with the muted gold base. It's a hundred dollars. I don't want to pay that though, not to love it. I do like this one, the tripod one with the wood, natural wood look. Not too bad, but I would just wonder how much it's going to be. I can't find a price on it, so I'm sure if that one's a hundred dollars, then these probably are too. Not really what I wanted to spend, so I may have to pass you guys. This trip may be a bust. Okay guys, well obviously I didn't get any floor lamps because I didn't see anything that I liked, but the trip was not a bust. I did get some things that I liked, but I will save this for a future home decor haul that I um, will record a little bit later because I have a lot, so you guys will see that later. Hey guys, so this is uh, the conclusion to week three. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage of week three as far as walking into the promise and my schoolwork, just mainly because I just don't want it to be so repetitive as far as um, reading, because that's pretty much literally all I've been doing is reading my eyes out um, and taking tests and quizzes over the material that I read. I am happy though that I got a um, 98 on my first quiz in my uh, society mental health class so I was happy about that um, I've taken two tests in my other class the abnormal psych the first test I got an 89 and then the second test I got a 78 which I am disgusted about and pretty much um, I know the reason for that is because I was rushing getting my homework done and getting my test taken before Sunday night because um, of the party that I had for my niece and um, just not really doing what I'm supposed to do. I was kind of rushing. So I am hoping that my grades will go up this coming week. So, um, my mind kind of hasn't just been in it this week. Um, I mean, I've been reading my material and getting the homework done, but my mind has been elsewhere. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I have these glasses on, that's because I'm getting ready to head out. But anyway, um, today is Friday and um, I do live in St. Louis, so I don't know if you guys are watching, but uh, there is a case here involving another, you know, officer involved shooting. Uh, another young black male was killed at the hands of an officer, a white police officer, and they gave the verdict today. And of course, as always, he was not guilty. Um, it's particularly heart-wrenching and sad because there was so much evidence against the cop in this case there was footage of him on camera pretty much just gunning the man down uh there was evidence of him planting a gun on the uh individual so um it's been a, you know an emotional morning uh st louis is protesting as always um i'm not sure if it'll get violent but with with st louis i wouldn't be surprised if it does um just because you know I, you know i don't condone violence but at the same time i understand the frustration behind it so um never think that i'm saying that violence is okay but at the same time you know you get to a point where you wonder when is enough enough what is it going to take for justice to be served so you know i don't want to go on a whole rant or get political about the situation but um it's been an emotional end to the week. You know, it's Friday. People have worked all week. People are tired. And then the cherry on the cake is that, you know, this officer was not found guilty. This is not nothing new. I don't know why people are surprised. I'm honestly, like, emotionally dead to it. You know, I did all my ranting and raving and writing paragraphs on Facebook, you know, back when George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin and he got off, back when the cop shot uh, Michael Brown in Ferguson a couple years and he got off. So it's to the point where I'm emotionally dead about it. Yes, I'm upset. Yes, I'm mad. Yes, I'm angry. But no longer will I be writing long dissertations on Facebook trying to defend, you know, my people and trying to get others to see, you know, why these things are wrong and why justice is not being served. Because, you know, I found out 
a couple years ago whenever I was doing all that ranting on Facebook about my ground that the people that read it that already know, which are, you know, my people, they already know what's going on. And so I was pretty much writing all this for other people to be informed. But then I came to realize that, you know, you, you're talking to a brick wall. You're talking to deaf ears. These people don't care. They have every excuse in the book to come up with reasons why these killings are justified. Um, of course, we all know these young black men are always criminalized in their own deaths and brought to jury in, in trial in their own deaths. So it's sad. It's depressing. It's still traumatic over and over again. However, I, I can no longer, you know, emotionally be invested because it's to a point where it's draining. I have other things to focus on, you know, I have other goals to meet. And so I can't waste my energy sitting up just being mad and frustrated about it. I can't do it anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm disgusted all over again. I'm disappointed all over again, as is the rest of America. So um, it's just been a week that... Um, very unfortunate very sad as always nothing new unfortunately but i'm just sick of it you know i'm sick of the justice system i don't even know what to call it anymore because i don't even think the name justice fits i don't even think that um that's a qualifying name for the system that we live under i don't there's never justice served for people of color and so i really kind of don't understand why we expect it to change at any point um it's just a lot that can go into it, and I could talk all day about this, but I'm not, so I digress. But um, as always, guys, stay prayed up, and as always, be an exclusive addition to someone's life.